Hi, my name is Alexander Zink from Fraunhofer IIS in Germany. That's a non-profit research and development organization. I'm here with Jens Schröder from RF Mondial in Germany and we're at the Nautel booth presenting a full DRM Plus transmission chain in a very short rack and including even DRM 30. DRM is Digital Radio Mondial. Uh, that is a single station digital radio broadcast technology from shortwave, longwave, AM bands in general up to the VHF bands, band 1, 2 and the FM band. Um, what is shown here in equipment is the uh, Nautel transmitter, the VS, and the RF Mondial modulator. One for DRM Plus, one for DRM 30. And we also have a full DRM content server. The content server is the equipment that encodes the audio um, encodes the data services, manages all the data services like the advanced text service journal line, slideshow, EPG and other stuff and provides the full DRM multiplex signal. We see here a screenshot of how it's operated. All the components of the transmission system are available remotely through a regular web browser and we can demonstrate that here. In that web browser I can change all the details of my broadcast and adjust the signal on air and the content as I need it. This is the first component. The output of this content server is then fed to the DRM modulator to be processed. And I'll hand over to Jens to describe more on that. Yeah. Well, the DRM Plus modulator basically takes the MDI stream, which has all the audio and multimedia and channel information, and takes it on uh, and modulates it in an OFDM way such that it can be uh, digitally uh, handed over to the transmitter. The transmitter, what you see here, is a 1 kilowatt VS1 transmitter of Nautel. They have an automatic digital pre-correction in there, so they put out probably up to 400 uh, watts of digital power with DRM+. Plus. So we are live here on the air and uh, the uh, signal is received by uh, the measurement receiver of RF Mondial, which we can show here remotely at the screen, so it can be used for measurement trials all around the world. What a broadcaster additionally needs is a monitoring of their uh, transmitting site, so you need to monitor the transmitter itself. But in addition, of course, you want to know if your signal has been received in your uh, coverage area. So you can then use this monitoring signal to really analyze if your signal has been received in the various coverage area. Finally, what you're, as a broadcaster you would need is an archiving system such that you can prove what has been transmitted actually and uh, RF Mondial offers uh, such an uh, archiving system for your DRM solution. So, thanks a lot. We have the full transmission chain here in one block, that's not a requirement. The content server could reside in a studio, for example, or a playout center and feed the information, the DRM multiplex, through a IP-based connection, even remotely, let's say satellite, to the individual transmitter sites, which then combine the modulator and the transmitter equipment. You've mentioned the decoding and the receiver side. We also have receivers here. One for DRM30 with a live reception of the DRM radio, including text services and slides. We also have a software-based radio for DRM Plus, which we can show here, where people can enjoy both the audio, see the slides and information that is included, and also can play with it and, and uh, enjoy the text information that's included in the radio signal.